That's a big swing. We are coming for you, Tiger. We are coming for you, boy. I'm out here in Antalya, Turkey, surrounded by golfers of all ages, sexes and ability. But one question consumes them all. Why on earth is the provisional ball always better than the first? Jet2 and Go Turkey have flown us out here. We are staying at the Gloria Golf Resort, but this whole area is just absolutely crazy. We've played five of the courses so far this trip and we have bagged some amazing content. But today we are taking on an exceptional course where the big cat himself has prowled. And I want to use this video to explore the question why the Mulligan golf ball is always better than the first, or is it? And the course is this, the Montgomery at Max Royale, where Tiger has played four tournament rounds. We'll display his scores here, and the target of today's video is to see how many of them we can beat. Of course, we have the advantage of having two goes at every shot. So this video is for everybody who has ever wondered what they could achieve if only they had a second chance. And here we are on the first tee. Now I've marked up two balls. I'm using the uh, Z-Star divide today just to give it a go. Number one and number two. It's actually windy today. Like this is not an easy day. Get down to those comments below. Let us know what you think you would score if you had two goes at every shot. Now in classic Tiger Woods style, no warm up. Fortunately, oh, I'm a trained athlete. Now that looks right to me. All right, I don't know what's over there, but I think that might be quite a long way right. So attempt number two. Now that is the one we wanted. There you go. Works. It works. Oh, this is the way we should all play golf. From now on, I've decided. All right, number two ball selected, unsurprisingly. We did find the first though. Par five, we're not going to get there in two. Knock a three wood down there. Going to go straight, kind of at the hole. Straight down it. I'm going to aim this second one just a little bit further right, because I don't know if there's any bunkers or anything down there. You know what, I've got a feel we might end up taking the second ball again. Because that's bang in the middle of the fairway. I think there's bunkers left. All right, we're on ball number two again. It's absolutely smashing this challenge so far. Ah, left myself a nice little wedge in actually. It's only gonna be 50 yards or so. All right, 64 yards. A little lob wedge, just trying to get it Beyond the pin, bit of spin because we're into wind. What do you think we'll score today, mate? Like of all the Tiger scores, how many do you think we'll manage to tick off? If we don't get two of them, I'll be disappointed. Okay, I like that. Behind that pin, spin it back. Let's use the first ball for a change. Spin. Yeah, that was really good actually. I well, know the distance. Let's see what ball number two does. Right, we're using the first ball for once, mate. That deserves a little celebration. A little clippity clap for ball number one, ladies and gentlemen. Ball number one, yeah. Ah, absolutely perfect pitch there. Very happy with that. You stole my other ball. Didn't realize I need that, right? <laughs> Thanks for that. So I'll pop a little marker down, left to right. I think this is maybe where the biggest difference might be made. So if you think about it, if you know the line of a putt before you hit it, obviously if the first one goes in, then great, but to have that extra options, awesome. Ooh. That was a big swing. Birdie start. Come on. Wow, we have 160 yards here. I think you are right, Mick, what you just said there on par threes as well. Like you can gauge if you're short or long. I've got a little seven iron here because we're kind of into wind off the right. I think you know, I just hit just a little cut back into it, holding it up. Mate, I think we're going to go so low today. This is the best format ever. <laughs> well, I'm definitely going to hopefully use my second ball. 
distance wise is good. It is unfortunately the biggest pull ever seen by a seven iron on this hole, ever. <sighs> Come on. So you know the distance is good. Oh, I've towed it. Go. Go, 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 go. No, that's too exceptionally average to four shots there. Oh no. We do need to counter in the fact that also I can be a bit rubbish. We've not really thought about that. Well, we are playing ball number one. Uh, despite it being a huge pull, we've actually accessed a portion of the green, which I reckon would be Sunday pin placement <laughs> over here. That's uh, not great. I mean, it was a choice between a difficult chip or a difficult pop, so not really a lot in it. Gets ball number one on the board, up the slope. I'm gonna break to the left as it goes up that slope there. Go, go. Wow. Okay, back. Never mind trying to beat the tour pros if I had two shots. I'm just looking trying not to three put if I have two shots at everything. That'd be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? All right. Honestly. What an absolute life. <laughs> so that's a number one, a number two, and hopefully this is going to be another number one. Well, can't bet that. The level par of that hole, one under overall, Tiger. I'm still coming for you, bro. Very, very interesting. So we've got a drivable par four, I think. So it's 367 meters from here, but it's a big dog leg to the left. Now, if I absolutely muller a driver straight over the dog leg, we've got a chance. So number one ball in play. I'm gonna, if I hit it exactly where I want to, that's good. I will then hit like a, an iron just for safety off the tee, just to make sure, or a three wood, or a hybrid. But the first ball is over like this little tall tree here. <laughs> Such a bailout. Oh, I'll tell you what though, it'd be like a perfect layup. Okay. Can we like, Redub this, mate. So on the first shot, I'm just going to try and hit a really good layup, put myself in a good position. And then on the second shot, I'm going to go for the green. Tactics, mate. Chess, not checkers, yeah? Yeah, I didn't hear anything. I'd... It was a bit of a toey no spin strike. First ball, though. Great. What a tactician I am. Numero two, I'm afraid, is no more. We're marking another ball up, mate. Now, I've only got, I literally only brought a sleeve of these. So the divide experiment, like, might be over <laughs> fairly quickly if, uh, oh, well, there's a lot of water as well. Not what you want to see when you're desperately protecting golf balls. 78 yards away. Well, again, it looks like there's a bit of a slope behind, so just try and take a little bit of spin off this. Go 56 degree wedge, a little half swing, snuggle it in behind. What a great layup that was. Pretty good. Yeah, I'd be interested actually. I think the second one might be more pin high, but a couple of decent strikes though. Again, a couple of good puts. This is what it's going to boil down to though. With two shots, I should be able to put myself in a position to have at least a decent birdie attempt. It's a weird thing, isn't it? Because is it more of like a psychological thing than an actual technical thing? Potentially. But we'll have a look at all the data after the round and see how many one ball and two balls that we use. Try and work out the percentage. Hmm. All right. Well, Weirdly, so this is where the first one pitched. Just had a little bit of run out. The second one is pin high and it's an easier put. So we're going number two. Greens here again today look absolutely stunning. They have all this trip really, haven't they? Mm, very 
I don't think we've I don't think we've ran into any greens that have been anything other than pretty much perfect. Oh, what a place. So a chance to get to two. It almost looks like it has a tiny bit of right to left. I'm just gonna go right edge. Yeah, it seems to pull it left off the blade. That oh, it's gone left very quickly again. I mean the ball rolling end over end there, so so that's one, two two i suppose one we'll have to build in a bit of an algorithm for like the really short putts because anything within two to three feet most likely just going to be a one i'll get on the phone i know some professors about to figure this out lost the ball yeah the last of the divides is gone <laughs> we're on to tp5x Ah, so annoying. Not been this close to the water since last night. So we are back, 420 yard par four, two under par so far. Driving hasn't been quite as good today. Time to change that. Oh, now this would be a good test. So that's drive number one and it's massive. Huge. Number two. It's pretty big as well. Slightly further left, but good strike. Okay. Right, 126. Time for some magic to happen, I think. 50 degree. Come on, we need a bird here. Oh, a bit of number. Oh, that's big. Great. Right, number two ball. Another new number two. <laughs> Take it a bit off it, be good. A bit more like it. Come on, dirty time. Right, okay. This is where we really need to start <laughs> some birdies. Looks like it's gonna move slightly to the right, just as it gets to the hole. Come on, we need to start chasing Tiger down here. Well, wow, that has not moved. Put number two to the rescue again. Thank goodness for that. Three under par, we're back. We need more birdies on par fours, par threes though, because I mean, we'll beat Tiger on a couple of scores if we manage just to successfully navigate the par fives. But if you want those low numbers, par fours are the way to go, baby. 185 yards. Kind of back into wind off the right. I'm thinking a really solid five should do the trick. Club-wise, I think it's all right. Shot-wise, it was awful. Come on, be good. Get down that slope. You can't stop on top of that slope. That's, that's a bit unlucky, that. From memory, that slope should take it all the way down to the pin, but, oh well. Outside chance. I should probably one day get a ball marker, but no, this'll do. Pretty sure this is what Tiger did. This is gonna be big right to left, I think. We go down this slope, up the other, and then a huge swing. That's what I'm feeling. Go 
oh, even more. It's a monstrous swing. Monstrous, I tell thee. Not that monstrous though, like a mini monster, like a monster munch rather than a big foot for all our American viewers. That's a delicious fried corn snack from the UK. I think that was probably the wisest choice. Right, three, again, those birdies, come on. Ninth hole, <laughs> fair bit of water on here and wind is off the left, not my strength, but it is still 450 yards. So it needs to give it a biff. It kind of goes all the way around to the right hand side. There's a lot of room to the left. So I'm actually thinking, favoring almost hitting it like over this uh, fence to the left here. Even if it misses and goes straight in that way, it's just rough. And the rough here is not, not thick, not punishing. All right, so right over the corner of the fence line. This, honestly. Now I'm in a bit of a predicament here. Now I'm in a predicament. We've been having a discussion about drivers. I think, generally speaking, the Stealth 2 Plus this year, now I've gotten used to it, it's been absolutely fantastic. I've been really enjoying it, except when it comes out of the toe like that because it feels horrendous. Just trying to weigh it up, really. Is it worth it to have a, a shot in the bag like that? It's so bad. But the big shots, That's the other side of it. Oh man, honestly, so confusing. What would you do, Mick? I'd choose the fairway over distance. You choose the fairway over the distance. That's why we can never be friends. Hello. What's going on? Did you see my ball? No, it's in that house. Oh, that's your house. I'm so sorry. Hey, if you want to come through, you can, all right? I'm not holding you up. Don't need to be like that. Some ducks, man. All right, we are 181 yards away to win. What do you reckon? Oh, now you go quiet. Sound is, sound like a little five iron. Six. Okay. Fellas. You're and, the way. And lady, you don't want to be there. Come on, let's take you out. Go on, go on, keep going. Pin is far right of the green. It's going to hit a six right in the middle of the bunker and let it drift. That pin's to the right, so. Oh, be good. Please be good. Oh. Wow, that was decent. Okay, I found something in my iron swing again. Beautiful fade. Oh, okay. hey, listen, can't be better that. That's going to be tricky. That's going to be tricky. Oh, it's another pure strike though. It's too straight, but... Oh, tell you what, we are coming for you, Tiger. We are coming for you, boy. Boom. Right, that is four under through nine holes, <laughs> to be honest. Like if I was using my first ball, my only ball, that just would not have been possible. But you know what else wouldn't have been possible? This trip without our good friends at Jet2 and Go Turkey. Honestly, the Antali region is one of my favorite golf destinations. Just like the sheer amount of incredible courses within this region, it just blows my mind every single time we come here. And I would recommend getting out here with the Jet2 Holiday Golf Package. For more information on that, head down into the description. You'll see all the courses that we played and everything else that you need to know. Antalya City was actually a really nice surprise. Getting some culture, absorbing the history, and the food was amazing. And you know how I feel about the golf course. It's like, what? What a place. Okay, 10th hole, and that's a decent front nine. Four under, we're well on track to beat some of the very best tour professionals in the world and Tiger. Here is the scorecard with like the shots we used as well, one and two. We'll go through all the data after properly. Now this hole, we've already played this hole in the dark. You know, just an amazing thing about this place and obviously about like Turkey, Antalya, Belek region in particular. Like, it's just so much night golf. We are 331, but we actually got quite close here, didn't we? Like the other night when we played. The line is basically over that tree. You can see the wind's off the left a touch. That was pretty good. Wow. 
I'll be struggling to beat that one, mate. Oh, cut a bit. I think that's a bit too far left, I think. Shuck it, great. Oh, this driver, man, this is so confusing. So confusing. Just, it's just, that's such a boom. Right, this is a hell of a shot I've left myself here. If I was further back, I could probably spin it off that slope just behind the pin, but I think this one, I've just got to open up the face, nip it nice and clean, try and land it at the pin. I found my second ball, which is nice. Losing a lot today. Well, that was a safe one. Better. All right, two decent chances again for Birdie. Come on. Right to left. Up the slope. It's getting naughty. Five on the par. Right, Mick, we're gonna do it. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hit a draw on this par five. I am feeling very confident and we're gonna do it. And I've got two shots. <laughs> Aim my body right, swing along that path line, keep that club face closed, draw. Come on. Aiming at that middle bunker in the background. Oh, it's close. Mr. Bunker. I just drifted into that bunker. Right, right, come on. You got this. Go on. Clear the bunker. I don't know if the fairway wraps all the way around that. I really hope it does. But that was a draw, wasn't it? I mean, it, it was bordering on hockey, but it's fine. So what we do, we dance along the border. We dance. <laughs> Second one was lost can find it, which was a bit weird. What's also weird is this is the most amount of balls I've lost in a single round of golf for as long as I can remember. So we've got the best score and the most amount of golf balls lost. You're also hitting twice as many shots. Yeah, I know, but I've not, I don't lose balls really. I'm pretty good at keeping them. Anyway, five iron, par five, still got like 280 to go. So it's just a layup. Not too bad. Whoa, that's come on high. Based on how high they came out, I could have hit a three. 149 yards, that pin is left of the green. I don't know if I'm just getting draw fever, but I can see a draw in there. Maybe if I hit a, like a normal shot first, just gonna hit an eight iron, straight at it, nice swing. Don't need to do anything crazy here. Yeah, it'll be good. Please be good. That looked so good in the air. Hey, that is so bad. That was awful. Hmm, poor. This one's great, what are you whining about? <sighs> you say whine. Right. Good. <laughs> it was a great time. <laughs> How about you, you all right? I had a great time, wasn't it? Great. Got it. <laughs> Outside chance for a birdie. On a par five though, that's annoying. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. number one shot all the way. And we have another birdie. This is getting that bit of momentum, mate. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Might be too big. So I'll roll around. Obviously. Drive off the deck, bro. Come on, DOD.
that was very frustrating. Those last two holes very frustrating. I've let a couple of birdie opportunities go there. So if we part in from here, I think we'd be shooting a 65. So we're not gonna quite top Tiger. So we need birdies on these last four. This is just about in range. I think it's about 360 off this tee, but the wind is a little bit behind. It just involves cutting the corner right past that floodlight. Come on. Nope. That's too far left. Decision time. Come on. Tiger wouldn't back down. That's a bailout. I think it's okay. It's just gone over that mound. It might be in the pine though. I think that's my first really bad hole, that decision wise and shot wise. Should have made this vlog maybe three shots at everything. So lucky. It's just so lucky though. That's nowhere near like. Nowhere near where I was aiming at. Uh, that's the luckiest, this is the luckiest hole I've had in a long time. My first ball is almost in line with the pin. Like the green is massive uh, from side to side. And well, listen, if anybody plays here and they can fly it 320 through the air downwind and you want to go for this green, aim a lot further left than you think and hold your finish and cross your fingers. You might be all right. <laughs> the only issue is the lie. Like it's very sandy down here. Doesn't obviously get a lot of sunlight. Not not many people probably come over here. Well, I might be the first one to have a venture. There's an unused car path over there. Very sandy. The only good thing is I'm pitching onto a bit of a downslope, so it might release it. Come on, use your luck here. Yes, yeah, just really, really difficult that first one. Go on, release down. I'll oh, go right, not left. Hmm. You know what? I think that's the. This is the first time today where I've actually felt like almost guilty. Like I've been really enjoying the process. I've been thinking, oh, this is great. That's the first time I thought, you know what? That's just that's so lucky, and it's like such an horrible tee shot. That might be my worst tee shot today, and got away with it. Birdie chance. Um, I've been over reading a lot of these. I've got this left to right but not by much, so I'm just going to sit straight. Pete. Come on, get out your own head here. It's two in two holes where I've had to move it out of the way for being short. You need this, you really, really need this if you want to start tackling tigers. And only do that if you're a trained professional, by the way. Come on. Got the read, it's a straight putt. There's a massive ant on my line. Come on, mate. Come on, off you, uh, no, get side of that. I don't want to touch it, like an house spider. Pete. Wow, that is a disgusting par. Honestly, very few redeeming features about that hole. Beautiful test and I completely cocked it up. Three holes left, three birdies to beat Tiger. We are 170 yards, a little bit downhill and a slight bit downwind. I'm gonna go eight iron. I've had a good old little talk to myself coming up here. Mick was probably a little bit concerned for my in and his safety. <laughs> three holes, three birdies, and it's job done. Straight at it, no faffing. All right, so that's the tester for distance. Now, this is the one. Put. Can you actually see the ball from that? You see it down, yeah? They passed and left, pin high left. Uh, Got to figure out these pulls. Ah. Uh, we are on the second tee shot here with the picks. Come on, come on. There's also a par five last, which is downwind. So there is a chance for an eagle. It's like the hardest par five I've ever played in my life, but there is a chance. Downhill here, right to left off that slope. So really, I know it's got a bit pacey, but that really flattens out at the hole. Honestly, Pete, just lost that little, that pep. I've like tightened up a bit. I, rather than being loose and like feeling free, I've actually gone a little bit in the opposite direction. I feel like I've kind of restricted a touch. Last two holes, come on, 
Let's loosen this up. Let's play free attack. Par four, which I can get close to, and a par five to finish. Guys, what do you think? Have I got this? You know what I've also got? A little bit of bee in my bonnet. Because 50% of you currently watching this video aren't actually subscribed. It only takes a second. Hit the subscribe button, become part of the community, and help us push towards 600,000 subscribers. Thanks very much. Time for me to fire up the big dog. Line, basically the tree in the middle of the fairway. And if it cuts a bit, then great. We're 358 meters away. So it's the best part of 400 yards, but it's downwind and it's a slight dog leg, which takes a bit of bit of distance off it. So if I absolutely rip one, I can reckon I could get 10, 15 yards away from the front. It requires me to rip it. Oh, I have done that. Best drive in a while. That's big, really big. So this one, I'm gonna be a touch more aggressive. Hold it, hit that tree, sit down. The first one was a very, very good drive, so must not complain. So we've got another number two ball to get. How many balls have we lost today? If you ever come and play in the Montgomery at Max Royale, you are in for a treat slightly offline. You can get about 40 quid's worth of balls out today. However, the first tee shot was good. I have just 50 yards in. I'm not going to use the lob wedge. I'm going to hit a 56 and just try and like one skip it back there. Not sure I've had much practice at recently, but I think I've got this. Not bad. I stopped very quick. Be a bit more aggressive with it. Potentially pitching into a bit of an upslope there. Let's attack, 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 attack. Come on, you are an amazing putter with this two ball. You are the best. Up the hill, left edge. A bit more positive, you know what I mean? A bit more free. I hit it with the full knowledge that I think the read was good and I had a second chance. And I just need to get in that mindset a little bit more. That gets us back on the birdie train. That was all the ball number one. That was a genuine birdie. Last hole, par five. Let's check the scorecard actually, because it might be an eagle to beat Tiger's best score. Okay, just done some pretty advanced mathematics. If we par this, we shoot at 64 one short of Tiger's best score. If we bird it, we tie, and if we eagle it, we are officially better than Tiger Woods with two balls, but still count. Fortunately for Tiger, not so fortunately for me, this is a tee shot which completely baffles my brain. It is a tight hole, but it kind of angles to the left-hand side. It favors a draw, and as you know, boys and girls that just isn't me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna aim over these left trees and just swing physically as hard as i can and hope something works out that's right that's two shot tactics right there at the end of the day golf is literally swinging and praying that it goes somewhere near where you want it to go when you really boil it down that's all it is you can talk about tactics and all the rest of it but as we found today swinging free just going for it that's what we've got to do that's what I'm going to do right now. Over the corner of this tree, smash it. Just like that. That is the best drive of the day. Let's see if we can do another one. Let's see if I can hold my finish. <laughs> Completely free shot here, Pete. We pulled it left. I'm wondering something here, Nick. I think I'm having a little bit of an epiphany, I believe is what they call it. That first drive, I was really focused on it. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. The second drive, not so much. I kind of lost my concentration. It's nice to have that backup, but I think if you need to get fully focused on that first shot and play with the freedom mentally that the second shot allows, that is probably my key finding from today. Dissertation, 10,000 words by Tuesday, please. I think we should take him back. Their water's down on the 18th. Just see, like, there's literally no water around here. Well, he's not walking anywhere. Obviously, don't want to disturb him, but there's literally no water anywhere near here. Who we taking? What, taking with us? Yeah. Go on, mate. That's it. I'll tell you what, he's heavy. Yeah. He's flying, mate. <laughs> it's the fastest you've ever moved. Go 
Come on, buddy. I think we made the right decision, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I like got it, so he, he was like, had his arms out. And as soon as we got him like near the water, head came out, arms came out, and he started like swimming in midair. And he also said, thank you. Good. Yeah. You know what he also said? You should like and subscribe this video. And a huge thank you to Jet2 and Go Turkey for getting us out here. Eagle to beat the big cat. It's a complete, one of the greatest rounds in history. No bogeys, huge bonus there. Five iron. Wind feels down, pins back left. There's a bank to the right. I just don't know if it'll kick off it or not. Focus on the shot. Chimney behind the pin. Just cut a little bit. That will be the right number. Right. We are top level and dancing the dirty eagle rumba. But if I can get this ball going a little bit more to the right. <sighs> Eagle Samba might be coming out. Right, distance wise, that's bang on. Same line, same focus on this. <sighs> I almost said a very, very naughty swear word then. I actually think this is harder with two balls. We're having a hole, we're having a number one hole again, I can tell. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll throw up all the stats here for First shots, second shots taken. We'll kind of include and then exclude the putting stat inference from this. I mean, it's obviously easier playing two balls. Mentally, I think that the, that's the biggest factor. I've definitely learned something about my focus and perception. But apart from that, I get down to those comments. Comment below, let us know what you think of this game. Do you think it's good? Do you think it frees you up? And what do you think you'd shoot? One of these putts is to beat Tiger. Down the slope, right to left. Oh, have I one balled it? Have I one balled it? <sighs> There's no, no real excuses anymore. It's a good putt. Come on. To beat Tiger. To beat Tiger. <laughs> oh, why did I save the worst putt for the last shot? However, what it does mean is I won't ball this hole. That is a genuine birdie. And you know what, Tiger? I think it ties a fair result for that last. 